Welcome to Teacher's Magic Touch. So today I am preparing very easy and super yummy pineapple cheesecake. So let's start. Here I am taking around 20 digestive biscuits. It can be of any brand. Now I am going to crush them using the mixer jar. To this I am going to pour 5 tablespoons of melted butter. Mix it well. Now here I am taking this kind of ring mold which we have covered with silver foil. Put all the biscuit mixture into the mold and level it. Using any bowl or by pressing it gently. In another mixing bowl, I am taking 2 cups of hung curd. If you guys want to know what is hung curd and how to prepare it, you can watch my cold sandwich video where I have explained the procedure. The link is in the description box. Next I am taking 1 and 1 fourth cup of condensed milk. Next I'll be adding a cup of Amul fresh cream. Add a few drops of pineapple essence and whisk it well. It should not have any lumps. Now put this mixture in the mold on the biscuit layer. Level it neatly. We will not bake this but we will steam this cake for about 45 minutes on low to medium flame. It's been around 45 minutes now. The skewer is coming out clean, it's done. Now leave it till it comes to normal temperature and after that keep it in the fridge for at least 5 to 6 hours or overnight. This is how it looks after chilling for 6 hours. Here in another pan, we'll prepare the top jelly layer of the cake using half cup of china grass to which we'll add one third of a cup sugar. Here we are using fine sugar but you can also use granulated sugar. Pour one and one fourth cup of water. Add a pinch of yellow food color and add a few drops of pineapple essence. Now my mom will cook it until all the china grass is dissolved and cooked well. This step is totally optional. If you don't want to top the cake with jelly, one can just put some berries on top of the cake and just have it like that. It's going to be damn delicious. As you can see the china grass and sugar is completely dissolved. Switch off the flame and keep it aside for few minutes. When you are able to touch this liquid and if it is not burning your finger, then it's ready to be poured on the cake. Pour it gently on the cake by covering all the area. Keep it in the fridge for one more hour. Now we can demold the cake carefully. Wow! A yummy cheesecake is ready. 
Just garnish it with fruits of your choice or using some chocolate garnishing as we have done. So it's all ready to go.